So this is how you make your graph if you forgot. If you are the DO team or the pH or temperature or flow rate, remember to go to where it says averages and only record these numbers, just the averages. And you're going to do it for each one of these dates, the dates that we actually collected data. I'm going to do turbidity for this tutorial, so I'm going to use these numbers. And I'm going to leave out May 4th because we didn't get any data that day. So on the new spreadsheet that you started from Google Drive by going to um, new Google Sheets, you're going to put a title for each column. So I put dates test of testing and turbidity in NTUs. And I put all the dates and all the values of the data we collected, which are right here. If you click where it says 2016-2017 averages, you'll get the link. Click on that. And from here, you'll see the history of Chimicum Creek for all the water quality testing we've done throughout the years. So go down to 2002 and find turbidity. And then you're going to type that onto your spreadsheet. Keep scrolling up. Look for anything that says turbidity. Here's 2003. It says turbidity probe. And then this one says turbidity sensor for 2004. And you're just going to keep going up and typing. So you put the year, put the turbidity, put the next year, put the turbidity. And don't forget the title, year, and turbidity. So now you're ready to make a graph. First, highlight all your data. Click on this button, the Insert Chart button. It chooses Line Graph for you, and that's the one we want, so then go here to Customization. I always start by changing the title. And I call it something having to do with Chimicum Creek. So anybody who sees your graph can tell it's Chimicum Creek. And this is Turbidity. I have to say it to spell it. 2017. That's the first thing. Change the title to make it better, more complete. Then scroll down to where it says Axis Horizontal. And where it says treat labels as text, click that. And it doesn't show the dates that we didn't go down to the creek. Then where it says horizontal, click that. Choose left horizontal. Make the minimum zero. And since this is turbidity, I'm going to make the maximum 50. Just so people can see that 50 is a bit cloudy. But uh, our creek was in the pretty darn clear range. And that's what those numbers mean. Oh, spoiler alert, by the way. Scroll down more, and if you like having your numbers on your graph where it says data labels, change none to value, and boom. That's it. That's all you do to make your first graph. So I'm going to move that one to the side. One down, one to go. Oh, and remember, you can make it a little longer so the dates fit better and look better. Now let's do the same thing for the 2002 to 2017. Remember to highlight just the data table you want to graph and click on Insert Chart. It selected Line Graph. That's what I want. I go to Customization. I'm going to make the title more specific. Chimicum Creek Turbidity 2002 to 2017. That's a very specific title. Go to where it says Axis Horizontal. Click on the box for Treat Labels as Text, and that puts all the years. Then remember to do left vertical, go 0. And I can't make the maximum 50 because this one goes beyond 50, so I'm going to make it 100 because 100 is water that's um, actually quite cloudy. Not super cloudy, but at least you can show people that this Got a little cloudy, but it wasn't anything bad for fish. Oh, spoiler alert. Then remember to go down to data labels, and if you like to have the numbers, choose value. Then you're done with the second one. And uh, I would make this one a little longer as well. By dragging this out so that all the years are on one line. And there you have it. Uh, this is going to be just two beautiful graphs for you to share what you've learned and analyze 
Chimicum Creek's water quality.